uh, addition in the results that they've had and the schedule they've played. You know, I, I think you're right. I think because we got a break here for GU. And uh, yeah, he two more. They had a chance for three. It's the styles are so different. Right. And I, I think this year's team for GU is flawed in a way that last year's team wasn't. In that, this isn't a very deep group. He hits the jump shot earlier in their game and forces that defense up. It opens up that high look. And Ayayi with the anticipation. The run out. Left hand lane goes. Good feel. Timmy the delivery. And Ayayi getting in the passing lane. Getting out in transition. Nothing you. Ayayi drives. And Joel with another lay, and he's got seven points in this half. Every possession for the Toreros, even when they're patient, they just, they're not getting easy looks. Joel in rhythm. And Joel Ayayi lines up the three. Thanks. Bill Zakharov on the floor now for GU number 10. Ayayi with the three. Joel has got to go on right now. Filling up the stat sheet. He's got 17. To develop this rate, he's going to have a great opportunity. Gilder missing. Ayayi another rebound and two more. And a chance for another. Out indefinitely. It's his fourth game miss. So one of the big weapons for Santa Clara out with an injury is Joel Ayayi. Drains the three for the Zags. Ball. Bodies flying everywhere. Woolridge comes back and picks up the pass. So now the Zags have it. Joel Ayayi. That's a tough move and it's good. Ayayi all the way with a foul. But then an and one taking the advantage of the driving lane. Ayayi boy, very smart play, oh, very so patient. If you're joining us late, that is a steal by Corey Kistler, who's wearing 53, usually 24, wearing 53 tonight, setting down 24 in tribute. The late Kobe Bryant. Achilles heel for the Broncos card, as you know, turnovers. Great defense, lead to excellent offense. And the two said they shot 61% out of the paint in the field. Williams kick it. Nice look. Makes a block by Ayayi. 63-61. San Francisco on top as we approach the eight-minute mark. Wow, here you go. Here comes Gonzaga. Pardon me. Not just an outside shooter. Hawes had his shot partially deflected. Ayayi's going to go all the way, and he lays it in with a foul. Chance for a three-point play. Ever present in the last two possessions. This in transition. Reaching, grabbing, doesn't matter. Ball reversal, forcing the defense to have to shift and move. Remember the first half I said it was St. Mary's that was dictating defensively what Gonzaga was doing? 